Hi, I'm Eric from ProLight and welcome to this how-to video. In this video we're going to explain how to inspect your truss. The truss always needs to be inspected according to the description of the manufacturer and according to those rules which will be set by the manufacturer. First of all, what is inspection? Inspection is actually nothing else than comparing a brand new truss with the one you already have used for, let's say, a month, half a year or a year. As ProLite, we recommend to do at least an inspection once each and every year. Depending on the usage of the truss, how often it is used, the company would also do it every half a year, but it's up to the company. The recommendation is at least once a year. If you're going to inspect the truss, like I said, you're going to compare it. This is the brand new one, and this is the one I already have used. So you need to determine if it's still in the same condition. Before you can inspect the truss, you need to know what kind of truss it is. Luckily, normally on the truss there is a sticker. On the newly delivered truss, you can clearly see here is an H30V, so you know it's a 30 centimeter truss. In this case, it has a length of one meter. If you take a look at this one, you see that due to the usage, the sticker has disappeared. So that means to determine what kind of truss it is, you should measure it. So you measure the height, the width and the length to determine what it is. Luckily for our X and H series, without a sticker, you can easily recognize the truss by checking the end connector. The H series of truss has two rings in its connection system. So there you can recognize that it's an H. If you compare that to this unit, this one has only one ring on the connector which means it is an X. So that explains the difference between an X and an H. The X series has a 51 times two millimeter main cord and the H series does have a 48 times three millimeter main cord. What do you need to inspect? Is something missing? Is there something damaged? Are there dents? Are there any cracks? Whatever. So that means you need to inspect all the components. Normally you start with the main cords. You have to slide over the main cords, take a good look and by doing that, you also can take a look at the diagonal pattern to see if any brace or main cord is damaged, yes or no. If you can't see anything, you have to feel it. So you have to grab by wearing hand gloves, you slide over the main cords and over the diagonals to feel something. And trust me, you will notice as soon as something is wrong. So apart from the main cord and the diagonals, you also need to check the connectors. The connectors are quite important, of course, because you are there connecting two truss elements together. So this one should be in an optimum condition. So you need to start for damages and you have to also feel inside to see if there is no damage inside. Plus the holes of the pins needs to be exactly round and not that something is de permanently deformed. All the discard criteria can be found in the ProLight manual and it can be found in the Black Book. In the edition of the Black Book 2023 there will be a full update of the inspection criteria. Furthermore, you not only need to check the whole truss, but you also need its connection parts, which is the connector, but also the pin. The connector needs to be checked if all the holes are still nice, round, and not permanently deformed. In the same count, especially also for the pin. The pin needs to be nice and smooth, especially the hole where the clip comes in. If that is deformed, you can't get the clip in anymore. That means it's discard. Also, what quite important is, is that there is not too much corrosion on it. As soon as corrosion occurs, what you can see here, that means that this one needs to be replaced and connectors are just consumables. The full description of how to check a truss and all the discard criteria will be found in the manual in the black book, like I said, and if you follow those rules, you can easily inspect your truss. Again, recommendation at least once a year, so your truss will be in an optimum shape. I'm Eric from ProLite and thank you very much for watching this video. More information can be found on our website ProLite.com and the video will be shown at A4i TV. See you next time.